guys, it's Coffee, and today we are back playing The Sims 3 World Adventures, and um, I know we have been seeing a lot of episodes of this series recently. It is currently my favorite series running on my channel, so you can expect to see a lot. In the last episode, I asked you guys a very, very, very important question about these three lovely bachelors, and I'm not going to tell you who we just invited over because, and I think I also took the poll down. Oh gosh, why does the camera do that to me like every time? I took the poll down so you guys can't go check the results either. You have to just watch the episode and see who shows up tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning in this episode because because that is the person we're going to be asking to move in and it's going to be freaking great. So in the meantime, we are going to hang out with Gemma. Also, it's snowing and I'm so happy in game. Obviously, I wish it was snowing IRL. Um, I do live where it snows and snow is like, I love snow. It's, it's one of my all time like favorite types of weather, snow and rain man all day, every day. But um. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and work with Gemma a little bit today. We're going to go ahead and see if any of anything needs cleaning so we can kind of take care of it. So the toilet looks like it needs cleaning. Um, is there any bad food in here? Nope. Um, this needs to go in the garbage. I'll just throw it away. Okay, I think the bed is made. I think we're going to... We're going to make this bed. Does this need cleaning? No. Okay. Um, I think we're going to convert this second bedroom into something else because obviously whoever is coming to visit us, um, whoever I say it, like, I don't know, but, um, whoever is coming to visit us, they're not going to need this secondary bedroom or they shouldn't need it. So, um, I think we're going to convert that into something else. I don't actually know what. Also, there probably isn't going to be a poll in this video because I'm actually filming two episodes of the series back to back, one for the day that this is up. And there's going to be one coming up a few days after. And I don't have time because I'm pre-filming some stuff. So I don't have time to like wait for poll results and then record again. So no poll in this episode, but definitely in the next one. Um, so... What, what are you doing, Gemma? Okay, she's stressed. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to get rid of the shower because we didn't even ever end up using the, Oh, I was like, did she just ever clean the shower? But no, I didn't. Um, for whatever reason, we didn't even ever get to use the shower for its intended purpose, which was to woohoo in the shower. So yeah, we're just going to buy our tub back for now. And which tub do we want though? I mean, we have, we don't have a lot of money. So, whoa, Chloe, don't go crazy. I like this one. This is super cute. Okay, we're gonna go with that one because I really like the way it looks. Um, I kind of miss our old bathroom TBH. Like I think the toilet was here and then we had this really awesome gigantic sink that was in plumbing. Why would I leave the plumbing section? It was in here and it was huge. Was it this? Let's see. I actually don't think it was this one, but I like this one and I'm willing to use it. I wonder if there's CC that goes with this because look, there's like openings right here. I don't think that was the one. Oh, it was this one. Okay, I'm not, I don't want you. Get out. Also, I think, oh, it was really big. <laughs> okay. So it was that sink, that toilet, that bath. I kind of do wish we also had room for a shower, but I just don't think we do. Like, not even if I push the tub forward, like I think it would just be too cramped. So we're gonna leave that. Um, I also need to pick up, would it be under entertainment? I don't think you can take I don't think you can take a bubble bath unless you have candles and bubbles or like, ugh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's not it though. That's not the right candle, right? No, I don't think that's the right candle. It's a specific candle. Do I have to buy it? Do I actually have to go to the store? I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to go and bear the storm and we're gonna actually have to go out and get ourselves some candles and some bubbles because I think I got rid of them when I got rid of the shower like an idiot. Wait, let me make sure they're not like in her inventory. That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, again, I always forget where the flumping, oh, here it is. Let's say I always forget where the dang grocery store is. Okay, shop for groceries. So we're gonna have her do that. Wow. 
Password? Yes? No? Oh. Did she just... No, okay. She put her winter wear on. I was just making sure. Um, okay, so we're going to follow her out in the snow. We're going to brave the snowstorm. Oh, this looks so freaking beautiful, you guys. <sighs> and I love the way it looks in Midnight Hollow, too, because Midnight Hollow is so, like, black and dark, but this, like, really brightens up the whole town, and it's so gorgeous. Somebody actually asked me that in the comment section of my last video, why the town was so black, and... Um, I was like, I don't know, like ask the creators of the game. It's, it's, it's just really dark. Like that's how Midnight Hollow is. Um, we won't be living here forever though. Once we get married, we're probably going to move towns with our husband and yeah, we're not going to live here forever. I've already decided that. Okay. So we need a mood candle. Oh, there's sparklers and smoke bombs. And oh, I didn't realize we had so many. This is what Angelia was talking about. Where's the bubble bath? Hold on. I swear this is where you buy bubble bath too. Oh, honey. <laughs> um, am I just missing it? Oh no, there it is. Okay. hundred dollars. This is some lush quality freaking bubble bath. Even lush doesn't charge that much. Jesus Cristo. <sighs> okay. Go. Oh, go home. Go to your home. All right. We're just going to speed through this because it takes a while to get across town. And then we're going to go ahead and have her take a bath as soon as the house decides it wants to load. There we go. Um, we got to put things out first though. We got to put... Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, light candle. And then we're going to take a bubble bath. Go take a bubble bath to relieve your stress, boo-boo. Oh, this tub's super cute. I really like it. How adorable. I don't really like how this candle sits on the rim, but it's like a, it's a rounded edge rim. So, you know, what can you expect there? Cutie patooties. All right, she's washing up. Um, I actually need to look at something really quick in my game folder. This is like the first series since All in One that I actually keep a folder on my Sims. Like, I never do this. This is how invested I am in the series. Um, oh man, I don't think I realized that. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, Sorry, I'll tell you guys in a minute. <laughs> I'll tell you guys when our guest arrives what I was looking at. So it'll be our, it'll be a surprise. I had actually forgotten something to one of the guy's backstories. Okay, so girl, bathe faster. Oh, I think, yeah, that totally relieved her stress. So that's good. We're going to go ahead and have her eat more lemon pancakes. I feel like it takes forever for food in the fridge to go spoiled in The Sims 3. And I think that that's freaking great. Like, she eats leftovers constantly. Oops. Let's just spin you around. Oh. Gosh, by the time I got here, you were done. Okay, we'll clean that up. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to write. Continue writing Love Divided. Since she can actually finish the book now because she knows who she's chosen. So we're going to fast forward and let's see how her stats are. She's doing okay. I'm probably going to have her write for a little bit, um, then get ready for bed and then we'll get on into the morning. I fast forward a lot when she's alone because there just isn't a lot for me to progress with right now. You know, we don't have a family that we're working on. We are, we're not, uh, we're not exploring tombs because we're waiting to go on a vacation until we sort out this love life thing and we can bring our boyfriend with us. That is what's going to happen. Okay. So we're probably just going to write until she refuses to write anymore. Then we're going to go use this. Um, we already bathed. We'll probably brush our teeth and go straight to sleep. Okay. I'm glad we're making money on this book because we, we're not poor, but we're definitely starting to get to that point where we're down. I mean, we're down some money, but you know, getting a, a new roomie sans boyfriend, um, 
that's going to also help with helping to cover the bills, which is great. So I guess I really shouldn't complain. <laughs> Dang it. She, I would be so great if she finished this book before she stopped, but I don't think it's going to happen. Somebody also told me that if you read books, it's supposed to help. Like it's supposed to make you write faster. So I'm thinking I need to have Gemma reading more books. Um, can we just silence that please? Like, how about no? She did not finish it. Phone settings. Sounds fun. Your guests will be arriving soon. A little setup might be in order. Okay. Well, we don't really have much to set up. I just wanted everything to be clean, which it is. Okay, so bathroom. Gonna have her brush her teeth and head immediately to sleep, which is great. And I'll meet you guys back in the morning when our very special guest arrives. Okay, you guys, we are back. She must have had a nightmare about children because she woke up with that emblem of not wanting kids. Or like, it was like the child building blocks, but with the... You guys saw. You should have seen. It was still there when I came back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have her... Yeah, she's just going to eat some leftovers. because Well, we probably have time to cook, but mm, I don't know. I don't know. So our guest will be arriving within the next hour or so. So she's going to continue to clean up. Oh, we're going to clean this sink while we're at it. Um, we're going to have her serve hot beverages before he gets here because it is snowing and it's just nice. You know, she can, she can greet the man with a nice warm beverage. So, um, yeah, we're going to have her do that. He should be here really freaking soon. I might not even get to finish making the beverages, truthfully. Oh, she did get to finish. Okay, he's going to be here literally any minute. She's sitting down and enjoying her drink, but she's going to get interrupted. Did she get interrupted yet? He should... Oh, I hear footsteps. <gasps> he's here. All right, guys, are you ready for the grand reveal? Are you ready? Are you ready? Probably a lot of you could have guessed it already, but are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the doorway, the bullet slip. Sorry. Bam! Oh, you saw the back of his head. Gosh dang it! <laughs> what a crappy reveal! It's Noah! So in the poll, I asked you guys which guy we should have basically move in, or I think the actual poll was which guy should be our boyfriend, and I had you guys answer, and the majority of you picked Noah. Honestly, I kind of saw it coming, and I am going to be a little salty here for a second, because I do have some opinions about this poll. Granted, don't take anything I say and be upset. I I genuinely love Noah. I'm very happy that he's going to be in the series and probably going to be the matriarch alongside Gemma, more than likely. I don't see anything happening to where that's not going to happen, but um, I'm a little salty about it because the last episode of the series, I feel like a lot of people didn't watch it. And the reason I say that, I feel like people just voted because... I'm really shocked that Brandon came in second place. I just, I feel like the nature of everything that's happened, Noah and Brandon, or Noah and Damien were the best candidates for her. And I won't lie, I voted personally for Damien. Um, but out of the three of them, Damien and Noah were pretty closely tied. So I'm really happy that it is Noah. I'm really excited to work with him on the series. Don't get me wrong here. I'm really happy about it. And it's going to be so fun. But I did vote for Damien and I'm a little salty that he didn't win. Um, and I just feel, like I said, that a lot of people didn't watch the last episode thoroughly because it just, I feel like it would have made the decision a little bit harder. And I think that Noah and Damien would have been equally or more equally matched in the poll. Um, but Noah's our guy, so he's here. He's here. So we're going to go ahead and invite him inside. Come on, Gemma. Put your drink down. And we're going to go ahead and... Actually, how is our relationship? Are we okay? Like, what if this totally doesn't work out? It says we're in good standing, so that's good. Um... Okay, we have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. Okay, so we're already in good standing, which is great. Um, we're going to go ahead and do an armor, amorous hug. Oh, are you okay? He looked like eight kinds of pissed off. Huggles, I'm glad you're here, Noah. You know what, though? I think that I think she made the right choice in a sense that, like, 
even though the game probably glitched, I'm saying that he wanted to be a gentleman, and that's why they never woohooed, and she's intrigued by that, you know? So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do a heat of the moment kiss. I just want to make sure that their relationship is, like, really, really good before anything happens. Um, okay, romantic. What else do we got? Let's hold hands really quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get right to the chase. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and save the game right here really quick, just in case anything weird happens when I try to add him to my family. So one second, guys. I realized that I didn't really go over the poll results, so I'm going to go ahead and pop those on the screen right this minute. Um, I should have went over them when I was yapping about it, but I forgot. So these are the actual poll results when I checked them. Um, Noah won at 55%. Brandon came out with 24 and Damien came out with 21. 802 votes in total. total. I'm really proud of you guys because um, those votes, freaking, what about them? Those votes... We haven't had that many votes on a poll in a long time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Can I ask you to move in? Ask to be roommate. No, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Um, I really want to ask him to move in. Okay, let's... Uh, no wait what do they say about me let's get to know him really quick kind of boost our friendship levels a bit to see if we'll get some more options um let's ask her what do they say about me I just want her to ask him to move in, but I think if we ask him to be roommate, he's going to be an NPC, and that's not what I want. We'll ask him about his career, too. Uh-oh. Someone has noticed Gemma isn't really being faithful in his love life. Word is slowly spreading around town that Gemma Blue is naughty. <gasps> That's weird because we're in a relationship. Noah's unemployed. Okay. Uh, friendly. Why is it not giving me that option? Ask to move in. Okay. It's not a big deal. We can. Testing. Cheats. Enabled. True. We can just do it the super cheaty way. Um, add to active family. Bam! Now he lives with us. Okay. So, um, yeah. Now he lives with us. And we're going to... We need to increase our money. So, control shift C. What does Rosebud do? Nope. Um, Ka-ching. Why does that not work? Um, family funds blue. I think her last name is blue. Let's say that we are now worth. Okay. Um, the reason that I did that is because I was checking on this in the day that we played with Gemma yesterday. And this is when I said, I'd tell you guys, um, Noah is actually a business entrepreneur and he sold a company off and now is worth a pretty good chunk of change. I think we probably could be worth more than that, but I didn't want to overshoot it. I actually like the game to be enjoyable. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean out bad food. Yeah, clean out bad food. And we're going to go ahead and um, we're actually going to have him probably ask her. Um, in this episode, we're probably just going to hang out at home and not really do too much and or in like this day. And in the next episode, we'll probably participate in Snowflake Day with Noah. Also, now that we have Noah, I can go over all of his traits with you guys. Um, he's adventurous, brooding, a great kisser, frugal, and he's nurturing. So he's not family oriented, but he's still 
like wants to nurture kids. So that's a thing. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and make a snowman together with Gemma because I just think that'd be super cute. Let's not let this good snow go to waste. Also, I'm excited just to see him in something different. <laughs> What's this? What does he want? Skate on pa Oh, yes. Join Ghost Hunter Greer. No. Um, we do want to visit China at some point together. Let's see. Let me look at his lifetime wish. He wants to be a great explorer with thirst for knowledge. Wait, what? Go build a snowman. What are you doing? Go. Go. Okay. Um... Do, 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 do. With thirst for knowledge and experience, explorers are always in search of their next big adventure. Though they face hardships and untold dangers outnumbered, nothing will stop explorers from tra traversing the deepest, darkest tombs finding found around the world. Explore. Wait, what did that say? Uh, fully explore six tombs in each location. So that's what his lifetime wishes. I think we can do it. We can totally complete it. We just gotta do a lot of that. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and put the walls up. And I'll take some pictures of them. Because this is the day that he moved in. Guys, this is the start of their family. Like, they're not going to have kids for a while. A good while. I want to do so much more before that happens. Because when they do decide to have kids, I'm going to have them not travel for a while. Because I want the game to be realistic. I don't want to cheat them going to China with a baby. You know, I want their baby to be old enough and be a child before they travel again. So I really want to get a lot of traveling out of their way. I want them to get married, which we're not going to do right away. I really, like... If I don't take my time with the series, I get bored really quickly. So that's why everything is so slow. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh, they got the classic snowman. I love it. Okay, wait. Go round, you spin me right round, baby, right round like a... Wait, now, when you go down, when you go down, down. I'm singing the freaking uh, Kesha and... I don't even know what it is. Kesha and... I, uh, I can't think of his name. Kesha and someone else. Okay, I just want to get like a a decent photograph of this. Oh, are you are you already posing with the snowman for me? Oh, this, this is too cute. Okay. I'm going to definitely snap that picture <laughs> of their first snowman together. Okay. So the other thing I want to do before we go out for snowflake day is I actually want to get the house prepared for Christmas. Um, because why? Because a lot of you guys let me know that, um, you guys let me know where the Christmas tree was because <laughs> I didn't previously know and you guys told me and now I know. So I'm going to go ahead and go into, oh, not build mode. I wanted buy mode. I'm going to go into buy mode. I'm actually going to sell this chair and this coffee table because we don't use it and this. Uh, and we are going to probably put the Christmas tree right over here. I guess we could have left the coffee table maybe i'll buy another one i don't know i didn't really like that coffee table so it's oh sorry if you guys can hear my cat she's she's getting a little cray right now um uh, okay oh there it is there it is there it is there it is yas queen oh my gosh it's so pretty it looks exactly like the uh sims 4 one that i have okay so there's the tree that i love it's amazing Okay, so there's the tree. Let's go ahead and also put up, what else? I think it was under decor that we saw the other Christmas stuff. Was it under miscellaneous? I know that's not how you say it. I just like to say it that way, okay? Okay, so here's this. We have like some, um, some winter wall garland that we can put up. I don't... I don't exactly know how I want this to be up though. Like, ugh. Okay, let's see. I don't even know where I can put this. I 
mean, we don't have to put it up. It was just a thought. Maybe not. Let's see. Stockings, maybe? Okay, we'll put the stockings up because that's cute. Um, we'll just... Wait, can we actually put a wreath on the door? Like, can I put this right here? No. Rude. I can put it right here, though, which that's cute, too, I guess. So we'll put that right there. Oh, I can't wait for fall again. We'll put pumpkins out next time. Okay, that's as good as that's gonna get. I just wanted to get a tree more than anything. That was like... Okay, so there's that. We got the tree up. Um, let's go. Can we actually do anything with this? No. I love how they go inside different doors. Weirdos. Okay, go ahead. Let's go ahead and have them light the fire. Oh, let me fix this really quick. This couch is like super far away now. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> Okay. What is she doing? Oh, she's running a hot bath. He's going to light the fire. And I want to say when you light the fire, oh, he's just going to warm himself. Warm his booty. Okay, he's going to warm that and he's going to check the high definition weather. Okay, current weather, 12 degrees. Oh my gosh. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be a little better. And then on Sunday, apparently, it's going to be the warmest. Moderate snow, heavy snow on Wednesday, and heavy snow on Thursday, which sucks because I think Snowflake Day is either on Wednesday or Thursday in the game. So that's garbage. Um, let me see this really quick. Classic snowman. Okay, I thought it would tell me, but it didn't. We have five days left until spring. That's probably why the last day of winter is going to be warm. Nice. Okay, so we'll go ahead and change to... Let's watch Cookin' Cable. Let's have her sit down and join him. Does the TV freak out when you fast forward and... No, it doesn't. It just moves faster. That's crazy. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know what to convert the guest bedroom into either. Like I have no idea and I can't even take your guys' suggestions because I won't see them before the next video is up because it's going to be filmed immediately after this one. Okay. It's already three something in the evening. Gemma, what are you doing? She is hungry. Let's go ahead and have her serve. Okay, I must have a counter for her. Oh. This happens to me every time. Dang it. Let's have her clean up really quick. And we'll have him drink this. Okay, fast forward. Come on. There we go. And then we'll have Gemma work on this. We'll have her serve... Let's have her suit serve Goopy Car Carbonara. That sounds good. Sounds like something pasta infested, which is my favorite kind of meal. I wanted to watch her do it, but it's kind of... All right. Congrats. She hasn't ah, her cooking through the little port. What is your problem? Huh? He's like so mad that the tree's there. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Oh, that was so mean. You're so mean. If you open that fridge, so help me, Noah. Okay, no, he's just looking out the window. I was going to be livid in about two shakes. Okay, let's have him, since he doesn't really have a job right now either... Let's have him, I don't even know, real estate? Become a resort owner? No, I don't want to do any of those. Um, Never mind. I don't know what he's going to do. Go do something else. What does he like to do? Let's see. He loves Egyptian music, Vegas, Brutus, Great Christopher Frugal, and nurturing. Oh, and he's frugal like Gemma. That's awesome. And he's adventurous. Maybe they're more compatible than I thought. Toggle black light on. 
this light. <gasps> Whoa. I didn't even know you could do that. That was insane. That was really cool. I didn't even know you could do that. I really didn't. Okay, let's go have him read. Let's go have him read handiness. Go help us out with your handy skills. Okay. And you continue cooking. Continue cooking. I think he was in her way. This is going to be dinner by the time you're done, girl. She's excited about those. She don't care. <gasps> Did you burn it again? Uh, clean up. Oops. <sighs> One more time. She has this cooking skill level of four. Like, what the heck? All right. Probably after this, they're going to go to bed and have to decide where they're sleeping. Please don't. There we go. Okay. There we go. Call household's meal. All right, go ahead and get rid of that. Go have some dinner. Go have some dinner with y'all woman. And I'm not going to ask. I'm probably going to wait for something special for them to become boyfriend and girlfriend. But that's kind of the pretense that him moving in was. Like, you know, they wanted to be together and try it out. And he was okay leaving Egypt. And that was kind of the thing is, like, they wanted to spend their time traveling the world together. So it's kind of perfect. I mean... She, her, what is her lifetime wish? His is a great explorer and hers is the seasoned traveler. So they, they definitely interlock very, very, very well. Please clean up. Okay, good. She's going to, oh, she's going to put away the leftovers first, which that works too. Okay. And then we're going to have her clean up. All right, and then we're going to. Vincy? Ah, Vincy. Bam. I should have gotten a picture. That was their first. Oh, sorry. Edge scrolling. Edge scrolling. That was their first meal together as like a little family. No, Gemma, don't sit down. Oh, he has to go to the bathroom first. Okay. Well, he did just drink all that coffee, so that would make sense. All right, here we go. See, we can we can get a, some photographs of this too, because why not? Because why not? Bam. Oh, I'm at like a bad angle for this. So, Mama Okay, let's see what he thinks of this. Let's go. Let's see if they can finally woohoo. Um, kiss. Romantic. Hmm. <laughs> He isn't getting the options. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, we can dip kiss too. Let's do that one. Let's do a dip kiss and get a picture. That'll be super cute. I know. My picture is always ruining the moments. <laughs> I just really want to have a nice collection before the end of the series. I know I've said that before like a billion times, but true story. True story. I really wanted to get a picture with the Christmas tree in there. Like I just thought it would be really cute. Well, I tried. Okay, let's see. I really wanted to get... Oh, woohoo. Here we go. Okay. I wanted them to woohoo for the first time ever, you guys. It's kind of a big deal. Dang. Gemma is getting all kinds of action. I'm just saying, like... This is kind of a big deal, though. This is like... More than likely going to be the person that she woohoos with for the rest of her life. So unless something happens to Noah. Oh, my God. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> that sounds awful. And I'm hoping after their woohoo sesh, they will just go to sleep. 
too many people out. Last time it didn't go well, though, so I'm just like, please go well this time. They always go to this room. That's super strange. I wonder why that is. Uh, <laughs> I love how he calls her over when she's already there. Let me get a picture of this, because I like her little cheeky, like, yeah. First woohoo. I love it. Okay. Bam. Always in the guest room, though. Always in the guest room. <laughs> but it's so cute. Gosh, I miss this with the cute little falling hearts and stuff. It's so adorable. Um, no, Blake just moved to Jimbo for the first time. The awkwardness of that first run encounter won't be forgotten. All the excitement of the fresh romance. Okay, so we're going to have him sleep. Just go to sleep in here. It's fine. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Good night. Okay. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys liked it and that you're excited for the next episode. Um, I'm certainly having a great time and um, I will see you guys. I don't know why Noah's awake right now. Go to sleep. I'm trying to outro here, Noah. What in the world? Go to sleep. Anyways. Um, I hope you guys liked the episode. Please don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at CoffeeYT, and this is Coffee signing off. Hey, you guys, it's Chloe, and today I am so super excited because I am working with Madam Glam to bring you guys a tutorial on how to do at home gel nails. And I'm super stoked about this because I absolutely love Madam Glam. I want to start this video out with a short disclaimer that I am not receiving anything else other than the products that I talk about in the videos from this company. I'm not being paid to sit here and talk about this. This is my honest opinion. I don't work with companies if I don't like their products. I will honestly send them. <laughs>